So uh, let us uh, take the advice of the Buddha. We just uh, listened to the sutta, and now is a good opportunity to do some meditation and see what comes out of the meditation today. So, as always, uh, uh, start off uh, very simply by just making sure that everything is right or as good as it can be. Meditation today will be about 40 minutes. That's how much time we have left. And I thought today we can maybe do a uh, some death contemplation, perhaps. We'll see how it goes. Uh, usually I go a little bit by, play it a little bit by ear to see um, what feels right, but that may be where we end up going and see if that uh, is any useful to you. So uh, close your eyes and start off by uh, feeling your body and feeling your mind and making sure that everything is at ease and just relaxing, allowing things to be, uh, not really uh, trying to do anything in particular, but allowing the mind to calm down uh, all by itself, uh, by non-interfering, uh, by not doing anything at all, just enjoying the present moment, uh, just sitting back, uh, just relaxing here. Uh.
and uh, just get into the idea of doing nothing uh, and just feeling how peaceful it is uh, not to do anything at all uh, and just resting in the present moment uh, but any kind of obligations, uh, nothing that you need to do right now. Uh, and it's such a tranquil and beautiful state once you get the hang of this. Uh, and just try to enjoy that if you can. Uh, because if you enjoy that uh, and you start to understand so much about the happiness of meditation practice. Uh, And uh, I will now take the meditation in a slightly uh, different direction. Uh, and please follow along if you feel at ease and you feel comfortable. Uh, if you don't feel at ease, you can just carry on with whatever else you like to do. Uh, but I will start off by asking you to imagine that you have come to the last day of your life. Uh, you are on your deathbed. Uh, and uh, it's only a few hours perhaps before you are about to pass away. Uh, you are lying on the bed, uh, lying in a room which looks, perhaps it is a hospital room, uh, it is hard to say, uh, but it's a very simple room. Uh, all the walls are white, uh, the ceiling is white, uh, the floor has a plain flooring, uh, and the linen is white. Uh, and you are clad in some kind of white hospital outfit. Uh, there is no window. Uh, there is nothing in the room apart from these white walls. Uh, and the door is closed. Uh, and you have come to the very end of your life. You are lying on this bed on your back, uh, just waiting to pass away. Uh, you will not be meeting anyone between now and your final passing away. Uh, what does it feel like uh, to be in this state? Uh,
And uh, as you are approaching your death, uh, the time is ticking, uh, getting closer and closer. Uh, you realize that there are so many things in your life uh, that you have to abandon. Uh, these are the things you cannot take with you when you finally make an exit from this life. Uh, the most obvious thing that you have to abandon uh, are all the possessions in your life. Uh, everything you own, uh, your house, your car, uh, all your clothes, uh, all the dearest belongings that you have, uh, all of it is going to have to go. Uh, you cannot take it with you beyond this point. Uh, so now is the time to abandon all of that uh, as you're moving towards uh, your final hour of this life. Uh, And uh, as your time of passing away is gradually getting closer and closer, uh, you realize there's more things that you have to abandon. Uh, you have to abandon them in your mind. And one of those things are all the people in your life, uh, all your friends and acquaintances, uh, all your family members, uh, everyone, even the people who have been most supportive in this life, uh, now is the time to say your final goodbye here. From here on, I have to travel on my own. I wish you all well, but now is the time to say goodbye here. What does it feel like to give, leave all the people in your life behind?
and uh, as you are still lying on your deathbed, uh, still just waiting for the last minutes to pass by uh, and to come to your very end, uh, you realize there's even more in this life that has to be given up. Uh, things you cannot take with you beyond the end point of this life. Uh, and one of those things are all the uh, mental things, uh, all the identities that uh, belong to this world and relate to this world, uh, your identity such as your education, uh, your social status, uh, your uh, position in the family, uh, uh, whatever it is that has to do with your identity in this life, uh, including such basic things as your gender, uh, as your uh, position in society and all of these things. Uh, all that identity has to go. Why? Because it relates to this world. Uh, What does it feel like to have no identity here? And it is now getting very close to the point of your passing away. Yeah. And you realize that the very last thing that you have to let go of uh, is your body. Yeah. So in a mental sense, uh, see if you can now is the time to also let go of that body. Yeah. No more attachment. Yeah. 
see if you can carry on in a uh, disembodied sense uh, from here on. Uh, And uh, there comes a point in this process, uh, this process of getting very close to your own uh, final departure. Uh, we are not really sure anymore whether you are dead or alive. Uh, and you realize it doesn't really matter. Uh, it is such a peaceful way to depart uh, by letting go of all of the things in this world. Uh, it is really irrelevant whether you are alive or dead. All you can do is enjoy the process of letting go, moving on wherever this mind will take you. And uh, as you carry on in this great space of emptiness inside, uh, you can see how beautiful this process of dying actually is. Uh, it's just a process of letting go. Uh, if you had known how beautiful it is to die here, uh, why would you ever have been afraid of this idea of dying here? Uh, there's nothing to be afraid of. Uh, it's only a journey of contentment and peace and emptiness. Uh, wow, it is so wonderful. Uh, and as you see the beauty of death, uh, you start to feel a little bit of joy even inside of you. Uh.
And uh, you also know that uh, the ability you have to enjoy this experience uh, is because of all those uh, Kalyana Mittas, uh, all the spiritual teachers, uh, all these good people that you supported through this life, uh, including the Buddha himself. And now you start to feel this marvelous sense of gratitude, uh, the sense of gratitude to all those people uh, who have made this possible, uh, because you can start to understand some of the powerful and beautiful results uh, of these teachings uh, we call the Dhamma. And you send your well-wishing to all those people. Uh, thank you so much for being my Kalyana Mittas. Uh, thank you for guiding me in the right way uh, I wish you all the very best. And uh, now for the last few minutes of the meditation, uh, let's come back to the peace of the present moment uh, and just be aware of the breath in the background uh, and just stay with that for a few minutes. Uh.
And uh, once again, uh, we're coming close to the end of the meditation. Uh, and before we come to an end, uh, please spend a few moments uh, just reviewing what has happened. Uh, try to see how this process works, uh, what it means to let go and how it happens uh, and how the development of your perceptions happen in this process. Uh, and as you learn about the process, uh, you start to understand and be able to look after your own meditation practice. Uh, Okay, everyone, that's all from me today. So may you continue to enjoy this little retreat uh, and we'll see you again uh, tomorrow. Thank bye you, bye. John Bromley. Uh, let's yeah. our respect. Good evening, Ajahn Brahmani. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.